Karsten Warholm's ambitions exceed imagination, turning what was once deemed impossible into reality. You going on to 46 blew everyone away. Did you think you could do that? The funny thing, my coach has said that, you know, that is possible. In 2023, at the European Athletics Indoor Championships, Warholm set his sights on a new challenge that many would struggle to believe possible. However, given his ambitions, it was clear that he was aiming for nothing less than a world record, and his split times confirmed that, as he attacked the first 100 meters with unparalleled intensity, clocking a blazing 10.62 seconds. This was the fastest opening 100 meters ever recorded, putting him on pace for a 42-second finish, according to the race timer. He didn't show any signs of slowing down as he stormed through the second 100 meters, passing the 200 meter mark in 20.84 seconds. To provide some context for this split time, let's review how the world record has been progressively broken in the past. Michael Johnson was the first athlete to break the 45-second barrier indoors. At the 1995 U.S. Indoor Championships, he broke his own world record by running the first half in 21.08 seconds and the second half in 23.55. He is widely regarded as the greatest quarter miler in history. What set Johnson apart from other athletes was not his speed and power, but his incredibly high running IQ, which included expert pacing and tactical awareness. In 2005, a 19-year-old Karen Clement, who would later become a world and Olympic champion in the 400 meter hurdles, shattered the record at the NCAA Indoor Championships with a remarkable time of 44.57 seconds. Notably, he hit the halfway point in the same time as Michael Johnson, running the second half six hundredths of a second faster. In the 2018 Collegiate Championships, Michael Norman delivered an even more impressive performance. By taking a conservative approach during the initial lap, he clocked a very relaxed 21.3 seconds. This allowed him to unleash his full potential in the second lap, which he powered through in 23.19 seconds, ultimately breaking the record by five hundredths of a second. By running very patiently and conserving his energy during the initial lap, he was able to finish much stronger than anyone before him, a brilliant strategy that is almost never used in world record attempts. Back to Karsten Warholm, it was clear that he was pushing himself to the absolute limit, determined to break the world record by a very big margin, possibly going under 44 seconds. But he underestimated the toll it would take on his body. He started to decelerate immediately as he entered the bend of the second lap, running the third 100-meter segment in 11.48 seconds, as compared to 10.22 in the previous 100 meters. However, passing the 300-meter mark in 32.32 seconds, he was still ahead of the world record pace, but as he entered the final 100 meters, he hit a brick wall. His legs were heavy, his lungs were burning, and his body was screaming for him to stop. In a desperate bid to cross the finish line first, he threw himself forward, collapsing in a heap as he crossed the line. In a post-race interview, he gave an incredibly accurate assessment of his pacing. Yeah, it was stupid fast today, I think. Nevertheless, Warholm's decision to attempt the world record, despite the odds, showcases his bravery and willingness to take risks, which is part of the game if you want to achieve greatness.